Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I am going to cover how to provision virtual machine using Azure CLI. This is the second part of my previous video. The first part was we covered the same thing by using Azure portal. This is CLI. Now let's get into this video. Now in order for us to execute the commands in the Azure CLI, first what we need to do is we need to install the Azure CLI into your machine. So if you're using Windows machine, you can come to this link. If you come to this website and click on this latest release of the Azure CLI, it will download the file which has downloaded here. Okay. If you're using a different machine like Mac machine, then all what you need to do is you have to come to the second link and download according to your OS. Now don't worry about all these links. I will give you everything in the description and also share this blog, my blog URL where it is described in detail. Now if you come here, you can see for Mac OS that there's a separate link and based on your uh, Linux OS, you have other things also here. All right, now let's assume that you have installed the CLI in your machine. Now you can use this Azure CLI in two ways. One is Windows PowerShell. So if you go and type Windows PowerShell in your machine, you will probably see a screen like this. Okay, you can either use this or a regular command prompt. If you go to run and say CMD, you're going to get the screen, right? This is one of the other way. Now my blog post covers how to do this in PowerShell and I will cover how to do it in the regular command prompt in this video. Now before we get into the real time demo, I would like to show you a couple of comments and explain you and then that will make your life easy to understand. Now these are the sets of comments that we will be using to generate or I would say to create a virtual machine. Now uh, think of this, when you do the same provisioning virtual machine using Azure portal, you are using a graphical user interface, like you're visualizing what you're doing and behind the scene, Azure is also going to use a similar commands to generate or to deploy your, uh, you know, the collection that you have done or the, the settings that you have choose. Okay. Now the same thing, we are going to use it through the CLI command. And this is part of the exam. So uh, this is something that you should know if you're planning to cover for your exam AZ204. Now, in order for us to log in, we will use AZ login. AZ stands for Azure. Okay. Once you say AZ login, it will prompt you to log in from a different browser, meaning a separate browser where you will log into Azure portal and once it is done, it will reflect on the screen. Now, if you have more than one subscription, you will probably use the second command, which is AZ account set subscription and subscription name. You're basically are setting which subscription you're using to further command, like, you know, the, the upcoming commands. Once you do that, let's say you're fresh, right? You might not have any groups at all, or if you're already using many things, you might have groups. So this command is helpful to list down all the available groups in a tabular format. So it says AZ group list. We are saying display in the list in a table format. The output should be in a table format. Okay. We will, we'll go through everything one by one, but just to understand. Now, in order for us to create a virtual machine, there are minimum set of required parameters that we need to pass. So if you have done this through Azure portal, you might have seen selecting a resource group, the uh, giving a name to the virtual machine and selecting what OS you want to install on that virtual machine. So we might have chosen, you know, Windows 2016 data center or 19 data center, or whatever it is, right? All those names will come as the image. And then because this is Windows machine, you need to provide a username and a strong password, which is the admin password. So this command will create a virtual machine. Now, after that, the second thing is we wanted to log in into this virtual machine, right? So in order for us to do so, we will use this command. We are saying that open up a port, which is 3389. And we are also specifying under which resource group it is present and what is the virtual machine name. And this will open up our port for our uh, internet access. So we will be able to log into that virtual machine outside the Azure. Okay. Now, once we open up the port, we should know what is the public IP, right? So 
in order to know after we create the virtual machine we will use this command which we are asking Azure to provide us the IP address the public IP address of the virtual machine in a tablet format that's it once you do that you will see the IP like this and then you should be good to go for your uh, creating virtual machine using CLI uh, this is for Windows machine once we cover up this I will go through how to do this for the Linux machine now without wasting time let's get into this video so I have opened the command prompt and I will start saying Azure login so if you notice this there is a separate browser which is opening and asking me to log in so I will log in that's it we can close this and it has successfully logged in okay no now the next set of command that we need to execute is to set the subscription so this command will set the subscription all right so I already have only one command I mean I already have only one subscription so I have set that as a default subscription so this command is executed the next one is to know what and all available groups I will use this command and it's going to list all the groups which is available good I have a couple of groups here right so I have some something listed here which is good so I already have some demos and on other things okay so the next command that we need to execute is to create a resource group so if you already have a resource group you don't need to create you execute this command you can reuse your existing group now this is just for demo so I will create a new resource group called LSC which is learn smart coding demo CLI RG RG starts for resource group okay and the location is based out of East US so once I execute this it's going to create my resource group now now if you notice the difference between this and the Azure portal is you will be selecting all these resource group name in the starting however they are all created only after you click on create that's the only difference right so it will collect all the information then it will finally execute one by one according to the dependency here we have to do one by one so that we can use this resource group name which is just created on the next command for creating the virtual machine now the next command is to create the virtual machine if you notice here I'm saying a is it VM create I'm asking it to create a virtual machine and providing the resource group name the name of the virtual machine the image and that means username and the password all right after a couple of minutes it has finally created the virtual machine and now let's open up the port for us to access the virtual machine so for do so I will use this command the Azure VM open port I will provide the resource group name the name of the virtual machine and then the port for RDP the port is default which is 3389 okay after giving a couple of seconds it has created finally now let's request for the IP address the public IP address for the one that we created okay so we got the public IP address which is 2119441165 okay this might be different than what you see in my blog but that's because both were created separately okay now let's verify whatever we created is existing in the resource so if I come here go here and watch for virtual machines and find out whether whatever we created is here or not see this is the one that we created okay which has created successfully if you look at here this is group is learn smart coding demo CLI RG this is the one that we executed right so if I click this it will open up the virtual machine details now if you want to log in to this virtual machine and do the setup for the web server follow my first link the first portal link or the blog post and you can see step by step of how to do this so the IP address that we saw is exactly listed here 2119441164 sorry 165 right it is the same thing so just refer that and start using the RDP let's get into the second topic of the same one how to create a virtual machine for the Linux now in order for us to create a virtual machine for the Linux it is almost same there are only few changes that end up doing it on the virtual machine for Linux 
the main change is the authentication mechanism so in windows you might have provided the username and password for the admin and here we are going to use the ssh mechanism okay in order for us to do the ssh what we need to generate is we need to generate a public private rsa key pair okay you can do that in your local itself in a local machine so by using a key called ssh keygen so if you go to windows command and say ssh keygen so basically that will open up a uh, ssh keygen.exe file if you look at here it's under system32 open ssh exe file so what we are going to do is we'll open up this and just press enter okay so before you press enter i would like to show you something basically this will create a such folder inside your user profile here if you look at here right there is no dot ssh folder right so let's keep this side and then i will have to type an enter it is saying it has created a directory because it was not there now if you come and see here it is there okay but inside this folder nothing else is there so let's keep this aside again and here the next thing that we need to do is a, a pass phrase that you need to provide and do remember whatever you are giving here just for remembrance i'm going to give you admin here i typed admin and it is asking me to type again admin great that's it the file got created okay now this file we will be using in the commands to create the virtual machine let's keep this aside okay so i have opened up the same command prompt and i'm going to paste the next set of comments to create the virtual machine for the linux so here i'm saying create virtual machine providing the resource group name i'm going to use the same resource group name which was used for the previous demo and then here i'm specifying the name of the virtual machine which is lsc demo linux cli okay after that i am also pointed to the linux os which is ubuntu ts and i'm going to provide the username which is demo admin authentication type is the ssh mechanism and the file that we created is which is sitting in the user profile and i've pointed it here okay so once i enter this okay after giving couple of minutes the virtual machine for linux has been created and then the next set of things that we need to do is to open up the port for that linux virtual machine so here the port that we try to open is the 22 okay so rest of the comments are all same so we are saying this your vm open port we are specifying the resource group name the name of the virtual machine that we just created and then the last one is the port 22 so once i click this that is running the commands behind the scene okay the port has been created now okay now the port is having the complete access for us to log into this virtual machine so now we need to know the public ip for this right so in order for us to know the public ip the same command we will use okay so we got the public ip now what you need to do is you need to say ssh and then you have to specify the username for this virtual machine which is demo admin and then at the rate you can paste the ip address which is 20.124.203.177 once you specify this it will ask you the you're connecting to the virtual machine so you say s yes for this now it is asking you the passphrase if you remember the passphrase that you have entered to create the to generate this the key value pair that you need to provide here so we did created the file using a password called admin so i will specify this great you finally got into the virtual machine now if you want these step by step in a document format i will provide you this link this is my blog post you can come here and basically i've explained you each step by step with the screenshot of what we did now on the video happy learning thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon